And good morning. We just arrived to Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're going to have a quick chat with Amory Palmer. Here we go. Hey, what's up? How good are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good morning. I've got your horse and a special box in the tax shed over here. Santa Claus showed up today and he brought a special box of goodies for shortcake. So we better go check those Yay, out. Yay, awesome. I know you haven't seen shortcake in a minute, so I have to check her out too. But we'll get to her. We'll okay. get to her. Yeah. And welcome to the office. This is the office. And this, a quick introduction. This is OJ, aka Orange Juice. <laughs> and who else do we have? And did you name her orange juice because of the color? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I love food names. <laughs> and so. we got the famous. The famous Milo. Milo in the house. Milo, you want to say hi? He says, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Oh, good job. Okay. Well, we might remember these. These are shortcake special boots, but we'll set these to the side. We just happen to have this awesome box cutter around. And shortcake had a special delivery of tack. I'm excited to share that with everyone. I know people like the tack reviews. They do. So we will. And this is a special special surprise for all of us too. <gasps> Yay. Oh my goodness. Okay. First time ever seeing whatever's in this box. <gasps> dun, okay. Dun, 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 dun. Love this. This is awesome. Shortcake is especially a shorter girl, so I love this pad. Got this a little bit of dirt on the way to travel, but that's okay. <gasps> little bit of little dirt? Bit. That's okay. We'll brush that off. And this is a circle Y of Yoakum. Nice. I love knowing the uh, brands. So we're going to test that on Shortcake. <gasps> oh my gosh. Here we are. The, the brand truth. reveal. Shortcake got a saddle. And you have to give us, especially us audience, our honest review on this saddle. Yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. This is so awesome. Okay. Let's get... I'm going to go ahead and throw this pad on Shortcake so we can start throwing okay. the saddle up there. Oh yeah. Shortcake here. She's a smaller girl, which we love. We love the smaller girls. <laughs> and, and how she... many hands would you say she is? I would guess that she is, I would guess 14. 14. Yes. Should we test me? I do have a stick. Okay. We can test my skills. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a short girl. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love the short girls. And shortcake's just, she's just awesome. So this is our little handmade measuring stick. Okay. She might even, she might be a little taller. She might even be like 14 and a half, 14 one. Not 14 and a half, 14 one. She grew since she's been here. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Did you ever measure shortcake when you first no. got her? No, I okay. did not. Okay. And where did shortcake come from? Well, she came from Texas. Uh, oh, one wow. of my good friends, Delany, Delany and Mike Atkins, uh, they're raised cowbred horses. Awesome. They're called M.A. Quarter Horses, awesome. which is why she has that little brand here. Okay. The M.A. Okay. Stands for Mike Atkins. Okay. Right there. And what does the six mean on her? It just identify who her parents are. Okay. So she's out of a tip-top uh, valentine, goes back to Leo Hancock Hayes, and then her dance size is Carrie Blue. Oh, Carrie awesome. Blue also goes back to Leo Hancock wow. Hayes, too. Oh, yeah. She's definitely, something's scaring her right now. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What Maybe do you she's see? excited about the saddle. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder if she sees this pad opened up or something. Or, oh, I see. They're doing construction. The, the machines over there. I think she hears the noise. 
There we go. Looks like the rain's going to come in. There is always lots going on here, so Shortcake definitely gets to be around commotion. There you go. So do you mind a few questions? Oh, I love questions. Okay. Yes. What is your guilty pleasure? Ooh, Rocky Road ice cream. Rocky Road ice <laughs> I love Rocky Road ice one. cream. <laughs> yeah. Shortcake's a little... She's a little nervous right now. I don't know what she sees. Okay. Well, okay, it's good. You guys are getting the real and raw. <laughs> okay. I will give a shout out real quick okay. to the people that sent us these cookies because they're my favorite. You got to smell them. Okay. Let me take one. I'm going to eat one. <laughs> no, yeah, you got to smell it. It smells so it smells good, good, huh? It smells like, like if I was a it horse. Like Christmas. I, this is where I got the cookies from, too. If I was a horse, I'd eat these Mrs. cookies. Mrs. Pastures, cookies for horse. Mmm, they smell really good. If I was a horse, this would be my guilty pleasure. Okay, hey, I'm so excited for this saddle. So, this is my very first time seeing it. And the secretary just walked Ooh. in. Oh, yes, Secretary Chubbs. Let's introduce Chubbs. Chubbs is my dad's dog, but he gets to hang out with us a lot during the day. And he is a seven month old English golden retriever. There you have it. Yeah, I think it's the English or the, the white breed, if I have that right. Someone I always thought he me. was like a Great Pyrenees. Yeah, yeah he does he look looks like a Great Pyrenees. Different. And OJ loves to get some attention as well. And let me get a quick view of Grace. We got Grace in the office. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, come on to the Grace office. is hijacking a saddle. Well, the okay. double J one, the one we tested on Butters the one time that didn't work. Yes, yes. I'm trying to remember which one I used on Lollipop. I think that you the double J works on Lollipop. Okay. Perfect. And I like that shirt. Thank you. It's really breathable. Yeah, where did that shirt come from? <laughs> no clue on the shirt, but it's a very nice one. Okay, the one thing about new saddles is... Yeah. The squeaky. <laughs> That's how you know it's new. I love it. Okay. This is where. That is a brand new saddle, girl. Like, this smells. Let's. There you go. So, if you had to choose to have a sit down to sit with someone, I got two people that come to mind when oh. it comes to Amy Palmer. Would that be Clinton Anderson or Fallon Taylor? And you gotta give us a reason why. Okay, if I had to pick one. Yes, you have to pick one. If I had to pick one, I'd pick Clinton Anderson because I feel like he has a harder door to get into. And so I'd wanna really take that opportunity to meet with him. And but you know how... I have to say that Fallon Taylor's been one of my favorites long time, so. Okay, that's good, good yeah. answer. Yeah, okay. So you know how Clayton Anderson can be a little harsh. She's very straightforward, which some people like, some people don't. And what would, how would you deal with constructive criticism? And how do you deal with it? Yeah, that is a good question because I would say, um, and maybe people don't know this about me, I can be sensitive. I take in a lot of information and it, it, I feel it. So I, Clinton Anderson is a, he's a hard ass sometimes and he'll tell you how it is. I guess what I like about a person like that is you know that they're telling you the truth. And so when I receive cr constructive criticism, I just have to know that it's the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. Yep, it does. Do you sometimes you ever feel like maybe they might be onto something and maybe they're right about it? And it's like you have to take time back and you're like, okay, maybe they're right about something. Maybe I'll work on that. Yes. Um, Clinton has a really... I, a good motto he lives by, and that's, uh, if your horse is doing something bad, go take yourself inside and look in the mirror, and it's probably what you're doing. And that was something hard, because growing up a lot, I was always like, it's my horse's fault, it's my horse's fault, and he's the one that's like, nope, it's your fault. Okay. So good. we have to be the better horse people for our horses. That's good. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So iced coffee or hot coffee? Iced coffee. And since you're in the frame, you want to... 
give us an answer to iced coffee or hot coffee just coffee that just coffee, my coffee the pre-morning. and you got the cowboy hat going so would that be like cowboy coffee <laughs> cappuccino, fan. cappuccino fan nice, nice and the pumpkin spice are out what do you guys think <gasps> about pumpkin spice with starbucks absolute favorite i wait for it every year yeah. pumpkin spice cold yeah. brew yep okay i do have to say something that gracie taught me when i met her she's all we were working with horses and something was going on she's like well i just figured it must have been something i was doing and i was like who taught you that? How, how did you know it was something you're doing? Yeah. You don't meet a lot of kids that think it's their own fault. <laughs> a lot of people, they're like, it's not your fault. I'm like, I'm trying to communicate. It's not going through. What's wrong? So that's special. That is special. And Gracie, quick question. Can you do a little introduction with this horse here? This is Lollipop. He's a bay roan. Lollipop is five. Five? Yep. You're small for five. Yep. He's a small guy, like shortcake. He's sweet though. Yeah. Likes his friends though, a little bite sour. Good. And how tall would you say you are? Because I'm tall myself, I'm six foot. And you know, it's it's kind of nice to be around tall people. Hey, no offense. yes, no yes. Offense. I know, no, but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Gracie's a jockey in my saddle. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm about 5'11". 5'11", so we're about the same height. Cool. Thank you so much. And back in the office we go. Yay, we've got more unboxings. So the stirrups are in here. Okay, that's cool. I see a back cinch. I will see what else is buried in this treasure. They've got lots of nice foam. Always good for the rodents making nests. You oh. definitely want to put that in the trash can. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm seeing in here. But that's okay. Just not seeing a front scent, so okay. we'll grab one. All right. Yeah, we can add these to the saddle. Got these stirrups. How long did it take you to get here this morning? Well, we made two stops. Iced tea. Ooh. Iced tea is one of my guilty pleasures. Okay. Gotta have it. About three hours. Okay. Yeah, three hours. Awesome. Are you an Arizona native as well? Yes, I am. Okay. Yep. Awesome. My my viewers might be curious as to who Shortcake's owner is, but I like I like this. Yeah, definitely want to keep myself a mystery just for just for a bit. Yeah, you know, then I'll step out of my shadow and I'll give it an introduction. Yeah, so we'll have to hear from our viewers how excited they are okay. to meet the. The face behind some a lot of my recent videos. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, these stirrups, I know there there's a longer side forward. All right. So if I was to guess, I'm guessing, but I think this oh, you goes this. forward so that you could rest your foot here. I'm making an educated guess. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go for it. Put that on here. And, and what's your your preference as far as saddle. Do you like a good roping saddle? Do you like a good all around saddle? Mm -hmm. And when's the last time you've actually been in a trail saddle? So my favorite kind of saddle probably would be a barrel saddle because they're lightweight. And I guess I grew up in them, so they felt good to me. But a lot of saddles, especially with a lot of the colts we ride, we just need a good sturdy, ranch team rope and saddle that can hold up real well so that's why we don't ride a lot of our colts in the lighter weight saddles we want that heavy duty saddle okay. but i don't have a lot of experience with trail saddles so this is to be new for the yes. audience so too. this is so new for me to like sitting in this today is going to be different for so me. how many pounds would you think it weighs when you put it on shortcake i would say this weighs like maybe 15 or 20 pounds that's a good guess it's actually 26 pounds oh yay okay yay. okay little little lighter than i thought yeah. or it's a little heavier than i thought but so i okay. noticed in your office and we call it the office do you want to explain that just because there's some viewers or there might some be new viewers who are like what's the office and why is it a shed full of taps and yeah. saddles and bridles and everything so yeah just, why do you guys call it the office i guess i call anywhere 
anywhere my saddles go, I call my office. Okay. Uh, me and Cisco spend a lot of time wherever our tack is. All so right. that's it's funny because when we were in Wickenburg, I was referring to the front of my horse trailer as the office a lot. That's just where we were keeping tack at the time. But we spend a lot of our time in our office, the tack shed. Yeah. And that's like our comfort zone, you know, it's where all our things go. It's where we to go to take breaks. And so it's a spot we really like to hang okay. out. That's and good. we like to have an, some type of office. That's good. Yeah. We'll put this other stirrup on. And the on. stirrup is going on the other side now. Yeah. So yeah. when I went to your office, a lot of amazing saddle, a lot of leather. <laughs> I didn't see really like a pop of color. You know how like, so you like Fallon Taylor, you know how she has all those purple and pink and all these bright colors yes when will you get a bright pink or purple saddle i love i love color i i i live and work with individuals that don't like pop of color okay so sometimes we get to see more of the pops in in my stuff okay but i would love like fallon taylor came out with all those designed um latigos and stuff that would be my dream to just be able to put a fancy colored latigo on every saddle maybe you should add that to your wish list on amazon ah good thinking i like got that some fans out there who are probably like okay let me just purchase this for her oh my gosh that they would be so, so nice much. i do love latigos okay so i think it's just trash okay well for the stirrups it's always nice to put trash away right away so they're not blowing around yeah Okay, so we got a back cinch on this, but I'll, we'll get a front cinch, and then I think it did come with a latigo also. So awesome. Came with a leather latigo. I didn't know that. That's nice. Okay, I, I can give you some, some of my food for thought. Okay. This latigo, as much as I love it, it's very thick. So my food for thought is the thicker they are, sometimes the harder it is to cinch it tight so this right. will be we'll be able to see okay I've, I've had a lot of i've dealt with a lot of thinner latigos remember you still got that duffel bag for you to open oh. too so there's some little more surprises santa in brought there. more gifts yeah. oh we better go check those yeah. out <laughs> yay yeah let's use yeah you can use the ridge snaffle on lollipop perfect and doesn't look lollipop so pretty it's all tacked up Okay. You did a good job. Huh. And here we go. Santa brought more gifts. What did he bring for shortcake? I like this bag too. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. I love there are it. Some tags there this too, is though. perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Santa knows what to get. Shortcake's gonna love this. With all the conchos and I stuff, love but... it. Okay, let me tell you why I love this because it's a smooth o-ring snaffle all right that's my favorite bit i love smooth o-ring snaffles and i love split rings this Maybe is definitely a win for me too that would be cool yeah this is definitely a win okay what else do we Ooh. okay that's cool a nice halter Something awesome. similar to what you usually make too, because I know yes, you Yes, this is the mule tape. Yes, I love that. How special. And then this just holds it together. Yeah, just, just and then you can just hang it up because it has a little hook part to oh, it. Oh, perfect. Got I it love from Home that. Depot. Okay, very nice. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, we got another back cinch. Perfect. But I see, I see the goods. <sighs> this is beautiful. I love these cinches. And 26, perfect size for shortcake because she's a small girl. And I love mohair. Nice and stretchy but breathable. And your horses like it too. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. And I, I actually. Okay, There's so, so many goods in here. <laughs> it's not Fallon Taylor's, but she has like those patterns going on. And I know you like something a little flashy. So yes. like, let me just get something different. This, so this is new for me too. This is so cute. I love this. Gotta show this off a little bit. Shortcake would rock this. Shortcake's gonna rock this. <laughs> I love all this stuff. Okay, I gotta start putting this on. Let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh yeah. 
I'm missing more of the goods. Milo's like, where's my stuff? <laughs> Trust me, it's coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yay, the curb strap to match and more. Okay, there goes your latigos. thin latigos. Yep, these are the latigos I okay. love. Perfect. If you want to switch that out, that's Okay, totally up to you. and I, I want to try that thick one okay. today just to either confirm my suspicions or be proven wrong. All right. That's I like great. to test things out. So. Okay, yay. So oh. I see that you ladies are both wearing jeans. So, Levi's or Wranglers? Ooh, Wranglers. I would say Wranglers. Okay, two mm -hmm. Wranglers. Personal favorite is Ariat just because they're tighter than all the Wranglers. So. We are Ariat gals. Yeah. Gotta, you gotta go Ariat. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Wrangler, we love you, but Ariat. You guys just spice it up and add some flares to it. Yeah, I, they just, they fit, or they're comfy. Yeah. Fringe would be kind of cool. I guess too, when, this is kind of weird, but like when we're riding all day, like having like a flat pocket, like because your bum's in the saddle, oh, like I see. you don't want the sparkle spanging on you okay i'm so used to going bareback but after being in the saddle yesterday i was like oh i miss bareback <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing some forced workouts bareback <laughs> okay oh yeah it's probably good for the core though great for the core and the legs yep. that's good we're learning how much leg muscle it needs riding bareback needs okay yay get to add these I'm gonna add this on so All we right. can get the saddle situated and then i'm gonna get to the bit and we'll give you the office the office view. The office view. Good job, shortcake. Oh yay! Oops. I think that's what it would be there for. Tuck that in. Yeah, that's Perfect. what I would think too. Okay, cool. Oops. Don't forget your craftsman's blade. Oh yes, I've yeah, got my handy blade. dandy blade. I can be snapping things. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh yes, and our back cinch. We'll get that on too. Perfect. These hobble straps, very important. Uh, the one time Shorty bucked me off, I didn't have one on. And my back cinch broke free from my front cinch and it flanked him and he bucked. So, Shorty has bucked before. Oh, you tell me that now. <laughs> Gracie's like, I don't want to hear that. She's like, Gracie. I'm not going to get on him again. Dun, 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 dun. Everyone, <laughs> everyone might be curious. We can finally spill the tea. <laughs> yes, Gracie exactly. gets to ride Shorty. <laughs> We've had some curious individuals. Really? <laughs> <laughs> people they're pretty shocked when they find out <laughs> but that just shows that you're special and that i love shorty <laughs> yeah and i had an opportunity to ride shorty last time i came yeah it's a short little ride but it hey, was i wonder worth if it. we have any videos we can add from a little trail ride okay. that would be great <laughs> okay so something that's hard for me with new saddles is i know they're super stiff so I just want to see how flush they'll fit on a horse. So as we ride today too, and the saddle kind of breaks out of the newness, we'll be able to see how flush it sits on short shorts. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. So That's what cool. do you think about the color? What Love do you think the of, color, okay. chocolate brown. This, if I'm, my next saddle is going to be this color. Okay. This chocolate brown color I love. Awesome. Yeah. I guess too, with horse things a lot, I like the darker colors because you know that um it'll stay a little cleaner or look cleaner yeah so so yeah. this is gonna be a random question oh yeah who is your favorite actor and who is your favorite actress okay okay this is hard for me because i'm not a huge movie person okay. but if i had to pick a girl i'd pick jennifer anderson ashton how do you say that <laughs> ashton kutcher or is that or or Jennifer Aniston. Yes, okay, Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston. Yes, yes. I don't know. I just like off of Friends, and I feel like she's just cool. I like um, just go with it. There's another one she's in, but okay, okay. I'd have my boy actor. It'd be Adam Sandler. He's Adam pretty Sandler. funny. Yeah. So, how have you been feeling about the rain? I love the rain. Yes. 
rain's amazing. I agree. I know it brings more flies, but hey, we're in a drought. We need all the rain we can get, so I like it. I agree. The flies are very different here to where I live. They bite a lot here. So. I don't know if we got like a new species or something recently, but they're definitely like little, little dinosaurs. Species. Yeah. Yep, they are. Oh, this looks so nice. Admire it. Gotta add the breast collar. Awesome. Lollipop is just okay. finishing up. I'm feeling I'm feeling the printed one. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you would feel the print one because I'd never seen. We don't really. My family don't do a lot of prints. Okay. Yeah, they're all okay. straight about just the leather, okay. the less flashy stuff. So the print. Yeah, I, I guess you can kind of cool. see our tack for okay. a sec. Very basic things. You're right. My is... most, my most check or um, I guess design would be this saddle has the checkers, but. That's hey, about let me get it. A close up on that. Yeah. Oh, and I got a Fallon Taylor saddle sack. I've used I need one forever. of those. I do need one of those. <laughs> yeah. But not a lot of not a lot of bling in this tech room. Favorite saddle. Favorite saddle, my SRS. It's just it fits every single horse. It's super wide gullet. And it's really comfortable. Everyone that rides, we always give it to people when they're trying horses to buy. And there, because it will just fit really well, and you can adjust the stirrups. It, it'll go from you know fit Cisco or me or things like that, and people want to buy it. I'm like, yeah, no, the saddle's not for sale. That's awesome. So I know you have a merch out. You got Ooh, clothes, yes. and I love your clothes. Thank you. I love your caps, which I need one. Yes. Are you it's... ever going to do like horse merch as far as like tack, Ooh. like splint boots, or I know you're all oh about gosh. your tail bags. Yes. You like to keep that tail nice and fresh and long and vibrant will we, see, will we see that in the future i love tail bags i guess too fallon taylor is just a big inspiration to me and i like how she was able to brand herself and if people people are going to buy clothes they might as well buy clothes from someone they support people are going to buy tack they might as well buy tack from someone they support so i think that was kind of her motto behind it i'd love to get there someday i know that I don't want to just come up with anything. I want it to actually make a difference or be useful. But for now, I love our shirts and our caps and all the gear so that you guys can be representing our business and our horses and all those things. That's awesome. Yeah. Remember, guys, we have a comment box. So we want to hear your suggestions. What yes. Amy should come out with next. Yes, I like that. And I will say about the merch. Spread shop. This is my honest opinion. I like it. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I wish I want some local company I can work with because I just, I just like knowing where my products are made, I guess. So I have had a couple gals made some shirts. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to kind of keep up with the demand we want. So we're going to have to figure that out. But I would love to find someone local that could do the shirts and hats yep. just because. Support your local business. Yeah. That's the yeah. way to go. I, I like spread shop and I like that it's convenient, but convenience doesn't always mean the best. Okay. So. Good answer. Yeah. Okay. Excited to add this on. I feel like this is going to match everything okay. so well. I just love it. Hey, this is, thank you for supporting my small business. Hey, you're just I, talking about it. Yeah, I love that. This must have came. From a small business. It did. Can we give them a shout out? Let's do it. TBT. TBT. Awesome. Yay. Well, this looks like a very nice breast collar. Can we throw this away? All right. Ooh, I love this. This is beautiful. Sure cake. Look at you. You're going to turn into Yay. a cow for a few minutes. She's like, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this, huh? There's just so much going on today. If we test this out, I wonder, might have, I wonder what these clips are for. Are they for the breast collar? I haven't seen that on a saddle before, but could be because it's a trail saddle. Your guess saddle. is good as mine. Yeah. Maybe so someone how, in the comments will know. Yeah. So how important do you think is a breast collar to have on a horse? I think if you have a saddle that fits good, your breast collar is unnecessary because it will stay. 
But for my peace of mind, I would just like to know that if something did happen, my saddle's not going to slide all the way back and start flanking my horse for no reason. Okay. So I think that that, to me, it's the peace of mind, just knowing that it's there. I think a lot of things with horse tack is it's not it's not like it's going to happen. It's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. So it's just being aware of things like that. All right. Yeah. We got a little stomping going on because these flies are, like I said, they're... Yeah, Shortcake's letting us know how she feels about the flies. She's not a big fan, that's for sure. Yeah. We definitely go through a lot of fly spray, so thank you to the individuals that send us fly spray. Because we go through a lot in the summers. And everyone, check this out. They need one of those. Oh, yeah. And make sure you guys keep hay twine on hand at all times because you can use them for so many things. Hay twine is like the duct tape of the horse world. <laughs> it definitely is. Okay, I What's feel like this... What's the craziest thing you've done with the hay twine? Sorry for my interruption. Okay, no, this is this is awesome okay. because we've made some stuff. All right. When, when we were younger, me and my sister would try to like make halters and things like that. But one time we made a rope swing out of hay twine and tied it to those beams. And Let it, me give it... Give a Quick little view. pan to the beams. There we um, go. You guys just imagine hay twine with the beam. And it, it wouldn't be up there anymore because the hay twine broke and okay. ripped. So like duct tape, it does the job, but it doesn't always hold up forever. Yep, that's true. So we do love our duct tape. Okay, I love shortcake setup. I feel like she looks so official. She does. I just love that. Super happy with that. I love this bit and I know I guess this one kind of matches so that'll be fun in the future put those sets together but for today there's a new bit hiding in there somewhere okay yeah, so that one hasn't been opened. okay and it's I'm... the bit that you like a snaffle yeah so I love right snaffles. there somewhere okay. in there oh okay Oh yes, oh yes, another one. <laughs> you know me so well, oh my goodness. Like these, these are, these are what I love. These are what I love. O-ring snaffles, let me tell you why too. I'll just tell the audience why I love them. But because they slide, there's just so much more release and less pressure. They put copper on the inside for their tongues. I mean, it's smooth, it's simple. I just love them. Oh, ring. This is awesome. Yes. When I was younger, my dad used to tell me, just get the bits that kind of look like dream catchers because of oh, the ring. Yeah, so. That's cool. I like Because I didn't that. know what, I thought bits were all the same. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Especially when you're a little kid growing up, it helps when you just say, hey, the one that O ring, something can make a dream I catcher like out of it. I like the dream catcher. Yeah. I like that analogy. That's cool. That is awesome. These, this is a really cool bit. And I love the copper on the inside too. Horses love copper. Yay! Santa brought some really awesome gear. Shortcake's very spoiled to have yeah. her. <laughs> I love all of this. All the goodies. This will be so perfect to go together. All these sets. I, I will say for training, I love the split reins. Because okay. I like to be able to get my hands wide. So that's why I'm going to opt for the split reins today instead of connected reins. All right. Now I can try to show that. It's always nice okay. to try something different too. Yes. I will put this curb strap on here. Okay. Just so we have that. And something with these, these reins, this is not like they necessarily need a curb strap for the pulling back. They need it so when you pull sideways, the bit won't slide through their mouth. All right. Oh. So how nice. handy is that blade? Oh my gosh. You're going to get one now? Yeah. Okay. I need one of these. This okay. is awesome. That was like, need a knife? <laughs> yeah. Don't need a knife. Need a knife? <laughs> don't need a knife. <laughs> Love it. And Definitely don't intimidate with people with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't like, Amber's got the blade out. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Exactly. I have a question. Yes. Shortcake, Shortcake's one of the best client horses I've ever got to work with. 
So I feel very special to get to be her trainer. Thank and you. I would just like to know why you chose me. Okay, there's several reasons why I chose you, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep it short, okay. keep it simplified. I chose you because when I was looking for horse trainers, first, I was one of your followers. I thought it was really cool when you did your introduction and you took Spanish courses and you were just so different hmm. from a lot of horse trainers that I did follow before. And one of my main concerns was the braids, the long mane, the long tail. Oh, yes. And I saw that you took care of your horses as far as you know, making them look pretty because who doesn't want a pretty horse too? Yeah. And that was very important to me. So when I was calling trainers, um and you know they were just like no nope, we don't do that here we don't we're not going to take care of that we're just going to be straightforward with you we don't have time for it which is understandable yeah i, I guess at least they were honest so i think that was like the real deal breaker for me because okay. i know people might call me crazy but the mane and the tail is so important to me yeah yeah i'm on the same page as you i a beautiful mane and tail like this it needs to be loved on and plus you live in one of the cities that I love the most is Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, yay. And speaking of Flagstaff, Arizona, what do you like about Flagstaff? Okay. So Flagstaff does hold a, like a special nostalgic piece of my heart. You know, it's, it's home, but if I, I don't love it like I used to because it's changing. What I love is the weather and the nature. Mm -hmm. I, um, I love the rain, the monsoons, the rain's kind of making its way over here. The summer times, the grass, just, I get to be outside all the time. I feel like it's my, nature's healing me okay. out here. That's good. Yeah. And Flagstaff is known for Flags runners. Yes. Oh my People gosh. People love to train here. <laughs> yeah. Growing up in Flagstaff, there is definitely, um, you did sports or you ran or you did something you know it was like the hometown thing it was we were known the seven thousand feet elevation and really athletic and stuff like that so it is crazy to see all of the big time people that come to train for the olympics and that stuff speaking too. of olympics the world's track and field is going on right now day seven oh my gosh tell me who's your favorite athlete as far as track I and field Okay, I did get to watch the pole vaulting yesterday. Okay. I can't remember the two gals' names, but they shared the gold medal um, in the America and Australia. Awesome. They, um, they jumped, so in pole vault too, you get three attempts at one height. I got to do pole vault in high school, so I kind of was special to that. But they made their three attempts. They, uh, they had set new records. They went to make their next three attempts, and both of them weren't able to do it and they were getting really tired and they just decided to share the gold medal, which they're calling the Barbie moment of the era because <laughs> of course the Barbie movie would come out and uh, the women want to share the gold medal in the yes. same year. So I like that. Sharon is caring, guys. Yes, yes. And it's they both beat a new record. They proved to themselves they could jump that high and it was they were just ready to be done. So how important to you is hitting the gym? And how often do you mm -hmm. hit the gym? I had to learn. I had to learn a different way because I grew up super involved in sports and having siblings that we just chase each other around the house. You're always active. So we were just active and worked out, not knowing we were working out. So then when I went to college and you don't, you're not put in those same situations, you're like, okay, well, my mental health is deteriorating. So for me, it took my mental health not being a hundred percent to realize that I got to take care of myself physically if I want things to get better. So would you say if your horse has to be in shape? Yes. Does that mean you as a person should be in shape too? Yeah. Fallon Taylor, I don't remember when she came out with this saying, but she, I remember her always saying fit is fast. So she, it was just her motto. Like if I want my horse to run at a professional level, then I should train at a professional level as well. You know, don't ask your horse to run a 17 second barrel pattern if you can't run, I don't know, a minute on the treadmill or whatever it is for each person. But I do think there is a lot of my own fitness that can go into helping these guys be better athletes too. That's good. Yeah. So would you say someday, just someday, some random day, I think it would be kind of cool to set up barrels and have everybody 
run around those barrels. Oh yeah. What do you think about that? I I love barrels. Like barrel racing is my adrenaline drug. So I I do love to do competitions and things like that. One thing I learned from Clinton that I was appreciative to learn this was once you get a horse broke, they can do whatever you want. So that's when I kind of, I think growing up, I just always either wanted to do barrels or rope or do something. So I just made a horse that could do that, but I wasn't actually making a broke horse. I was just making a horse that knew how to run around three camps. And does Shorty fit that? Does he? Cause he's broke. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. Oh, thank you. One You're so kind. Favorites. So <laughs> will we see Shorty running some barrel? patterns yes. soon. I, I would like to get Shorty back on the barrels and also Gracie. She's such an awesome young lady and she wants to keep growing herself as a horseman, horsewoman, and doing all these things. So Gracie might have the opportunity to take Shorty around the barrels in the future as well. What about what? Shortcake? Do we see a barrel horse in the future? Shortcake has the coupleness. She can really move. She, she has actually, don't let her size deceive you because okay. she is fast and she likes to run. So this is something I could definitely see Shortcake doing in the future. Okay. I, and I love that. And I, I guess I'll, I'll kind of get on and ride her around for you and show you some things that I hope in the future too would just make a better barrel horse because she can understand my body language better. Awesome. Yeah. We so will. when that does happen, so you're on the road, you're taking, you know, one of your horses to a rodeo event, you have to have a good snack in hand. Oh. What's your go-to snack? Okay. And give us a reason why. Okay, I will, I'll give you guys one that not a lot of people knew about when I was in high school at least, but I love to take cream cheese and spread it on saltine crackers and like make little sandwiches out of them. And I'll, go, I'll eat those. Not a lot of kids ate that in high school. And then what would be my other one? I am a huge sour candy gal, so when I'm traveling, I'm a little bit into the junk food, eating some sour candy. There you have it. I love sour candy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take Shortcake in the arena and test out this new saddle. All right. Get to see all the things. I think this breast collar looks amazing on her. So do you have any, does Shortcake have any siblings to go home to? Well, she does have a Bay Roan gelding whose his name is Blueberry. So it's kind of funny because we got Blueberry, got Shortcake, and who knows what other horses oh, we have yeah. name and stored. But yeah, she got a good buddy at home. Probably misses her dearly. Yeah. She's been lonely without her, so. They That's get along. Awesome. She actually bosses him around, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're in charge, huh? I am going to. I'm a short gal, like shortcake. <laughs> so I'm going to adjust these up a little bit. This is a common, common thing I deal with when I ride other people's saddles. Okay. Got to raise my stirrups up. <laughs> and we have some audience in the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> some. There's always a lot going on here. Yes. Okay. So yeah. what about, what would you choose as your preference? A cow bred horse, race horse, right off the track. Okay. I yeah. mean, what's your preference? My or a preference, halter horse too, because I know they have like yeah. a halter horse. I, ha I did get to work with one halter horse before and he was awesome. I loved him, his personality. I will say if it's a horse for me, I have a horse right now, um, Poppy. She's out in the pasture and she is a five-year-old, I would say running bred. She's still a quarter horse, but she's very running bred. And it's really fun for me to ride her because she gives me a lot of adrenaline. She, we go fast, we like to do things, but she's not a horse that I would enjoy to train for someone else because okay. I would just have to let them know like, She's the type of horse she likes to be used and likes to really go. So for that reason, I love the cow bred horses because I feel like they're a little lazier. They're okay with just having smaller jobs. Good. Things like that. I did get to work with a couple Tennessee walkers last summer. And they weren't my favorite, but they weren't bad horses. They just move differently. They're gated, so had to kind of get used to that. So I saw a few comments comments in the comment box about would you ever consider 
training a draft horse. Ooh, I, w I really want to own a draft someday. Okay. Yes, I I love the drafts because I guess I like the um, those those cold blooded type horses that are just lazy. I really get along with those horses. So you like sometimes you prefer a little more than whoa than go mm -hmm. at times. Yeah, I guess for for the overall training, I love the more whoa than go just because more go always means more work but as like a personal horse i do love poppy because when i get on her we can go fast and do things but she's just the horse that not a not a lot of other people might enjoy to ride because she always wants to go okay but yeah that's something good to note for for people for anyone watching too if you guys have your own preferences um there's a saying that clinton says it says horses for courses so there's certain horses for certain courses and certain courses for certain horses. It's like, don't buy a draft horse and try to run in the thoroughbred races and then vice versa. Don't buy a thoroughbred expecting to go on easy trail rides. Um, so I just kind of like that too, you know? We got There's... a rhyme going. Yeah. Horses and horses. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I love that. I'm like, horses for courses, horses for horses. Glenn has a lot of sayings I tell myself over and over. So I know you're a huge fan of the two eye jacks. Yes. As a pizza ranch. Mm -hmm. Now, you took the opportunity to train a horse from M.A. Quarter Horses. Yes. Would you say you would actually maybe someday would like to train another M.A. Quarter Horse? I might even go as far to say I might want to own one. Okay, there you have <laughs> because it. Because how much I've enjoyed Shortcake. She has a lot of great qualities to her. And I just love how... When you ask Shortcake to move, she'll move. But other than that, she she sits here for me. She's patient. She's forgiving and just easygoing. That's good. So I like that about her. Yeah. We'll have to see if anyone in our audience, maybe leave it in the comments, if you guys have ever seen any MA quarter horses out in the world on your own. And doesn't look, she look beautiful without new tack and everything? Oh, uh, and so how did you hear about MA Quarter Horses? I was just randomly checking out, you know, getting online, looking at some website. Mm -hmm. Of course, you got to hit the reviews. And it's funny because Delany, which is my friend, and we became really, really close. I mean, we share a lot in common. And we talk about a lot of things besides horses. So that's really awesome. Yeah. I emailed awesome. her. I think like two or three times she never got back to me. I was like, maybe I said something wrong in my email. Wasn't quite sure. So I gave her a call and then she's like, oh, hey, are you the one? Well, you know, can't say my name right now, but are you so-and-so? And I was like, yeah, I actually sent you an email. She, and she apologized. And she's Aww. like, well, let me give you, let me give you a chance. Let me, let me send you some photos of these horses that I have currently for sale and let me know what you think about. It wasn't like a quick buy. Uh -huh. It actually took about maybe two to three years to actually get my first oh, horse. Okay. Because when you're buying a horse, it's I think it's very important to go in person to see the horse mm -hmm. and see if you like that horse. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted a horse that was like in your pocket. And thank God I got lucky because you said that she has like a demeanor or she's kind of like a dog herself. She mm -hmm. likes to be around you. If you're snacking on something, she'll come right we'll up to you. We'll have to insert the video of Shortcake with Gracie. Gracie's eating her morning breakfast burrito and Shortcake's trying to steal a bite. <laughs> yeah, she's, <laughs> she's, definitely she's a vegetarian. A dog. She's supposed to be a vegetarian. So I don't know if there was meat in that burrito. Yeah, she's, she thinks she's a, a dog or a human at times. But, well, we love her personality. That's good. Mm. Burrito. Like Shortcake, you're like a doggy. You want some food. <laughs> <laughs> That's my breakfast, though. <laughs> Look, okay, Bye. Okay. Bye. Summer's all ooh, food. Phone. Yeah, so it took me about two to three years to actually own her. Okay. She sent me some videos and she was the smallest horse in the pasture. Okay. And they started calling her Shorty. Okay. And hey, you okay. have a horse named Shorty too. 
And it just fit more as a boy horse, like a, you know, like a male horse. So yeah. I said, you know what, let me just go with Shortcake. And guess what? It was open to register her name as Shortcake Hancock M.A. Yay. That so, is awesome. Videos. That's how I purchased her. Okay. And just because Delany is just a cool person to talk to, mm -hmm. I would like to introduce you to one yeah, of these days. That would be awesome. And she does follow you too. Oh, yay. Yeah. She does follow your videos. Sounds like we would be friends. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I like to hear stories like that. Okay, we got we got her get up on. All right. I am going to tighten this a little bit. Oh, yes, good job. And I've so far I've only ridden shortcake in a smooth snaffle. So, that's awesome that okay. she brought that. <laughs> I've used I guess I shouldn't say only. I did use a ridge snaffle on her once, but I love keeping them super soft and keeping them in a snaffle as long as I can. Will we get a chance to see a penny Ooh. in action someday? Maybe a rope horse or... I would love for Penny. I have these dreams for all my horses, but I'm like, Penny, she's got to do barrels. Everyone wants to see her as a barrel horse. But I also just want to make her into like this badass breakaway rope horse that can do anything. Okay, so, good. Yeah. We'll get, we'll have to show off Penny in the future. Yes, we do. Hang my halter out of the way. Now I get to ride Shortcake around for her owner so that we can see all the awesome things she's learned. I'm so excited. And test out the saddle. All right. This is exciting. Honest reviews, Amory. Honest reviews. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Okay. You don't Perfect. like the saddle, you say, hey, I don't like the saddle. Okay. I appreciate that. Letting me not hold back. Okay. Giving me free reign. And just tighten it up here one more time. I guess the other thing, I'm just going to say this because I'm big on it. Okay. I just don't love when people hawk it to their horse right when they first throw their saddle on. I think that we should um, slowly start to tighten their cinch. Um, right. I just, Clinton has a good saying, but he says that, you know, imagine you wake up first thing in the morning and someone puts your belt on and just cranks it to the tightest setting, you might be a little uncomfortable too. So I like to let her walk around. She's a little irritated at the flies right now, but that's okay. Make sure it's nice and tight. Get the back one tight too. Perfect. Okay, I hope I didn't do those too short. I might have. <laughs> And this place is beautiful, by the way. You oh, got the trees, you. you got the nice arena going, thank you got you. all these horses are spoiled with 24-7 hay access. We're definitely... I mean, this is like any horse's nice. dream to be here in paradise. We got the pasture going over there. Then we got Cisco. Or wait, is that Cisco? Oh, Gracie's oh, doing sorry. the follow the fence drill on Lollipop. Okay, there you have it. Lovely. And then we have Amory. Okay. The star of her channel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so kind. I did put this stirrup on backwards. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to fix it real quick. I think I had slipped it on. Yeah, yeah. So it should go like this because my your stirrup will turn like that once you're on. Okay. So I had that little backwards. That's okay. So what do you think about Sedona? I know there's a lot of people who haven't visit Sedona, even though it's so close to Flagstaff. Because yeah. I have some friends that live in Sedona. Sedona, if you ever get the Not chance, you have to go check it out. It is beautiful. Yeah, Sedona, the Red Rocks, the the drive down there, the switchbacks, it's just... It's so... There's not a lot of other places like Sedona. I would, how, when, did, um, have you guys been to the Wildflower in Sedona? I think that's a restaurant. Uh-huh. They have the, it's really dark when you walk in. Mm -hmm. and they have the best burgers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have been oh, there. Okay, okay. I, wait, um, the Wildflower, they have a lot of, um, pastas and, uh, pastas and what else? They have, like, soups sometimes. But I don't, they have sandwiches and burgers and all sorts of things, too. So. It's really good. It's Javelina Catalina is really good too. Okay, I'll For those who like Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Really yes. good. Okay. 
to try that out. Something I love about Shortcake 2 that I do this like my pet peeve now, but when I get on her, of course, too, I might say this and she might switch it up, but we'll test her. I love how she does not move until I ask her to. That's good. So, that's my little thing Grace with... Is in the background. <laughs> I think she's done with her training for now. Big jump shoot cake. I know a lot of horses that as soon as you get on, they want to take off. And so, this is nice to have. There you go. Good girl. And a little bit of flexing, guys. <laughs> we are so big on flexing. Yeah. And I like to, I guess what I'll show you that's fun with the flexing is, and Shortcake's getting really good at this, but I try to do it just as light as I ever so can. Now to see how light she'll be to me pulling it around. But it's fun to see how light you can get them. Just barely pull. There we go. Nice. Till like someday you just have to put like a pinky on it and just will she listen to my pinky? Ah, nice. So soft hands. Yeah. You recommend soft hands. Yes. Okay. Soft hands. Clinton was teaching me. Soft hands and, and let it slide. Slide. And then pull. Yeah. And then the other thing that I've really been working on shortcake with is trying to use my legs to teach her where to go. And so that's something when I'm kind of on her. I do a follow the fence drill and I'll kind of be like, I'm trying to get her to go that way. I'll like show you without my reins to see okay. if she listens. But I'll try to get her to go where I tell her to without my hands, just my legs. And this is how I can get her so broke that when she does become an awesome barrel horse, she's just going to listen to our hands. Yeah. Like, see if I can turn her. Well, that's okay. Not turning. We do a lot of the follow the fence drills. This is a good test for my horsemanship to see if I can not touch her reins. If I have to, I might give her a little bump to pull her. There you go. I just like to see how light we can make her. I think I'm going to get a good workout today. Yeah. Hey, I didn't work out today. I'm all here for it. Awesome. I'm going to follow you around. <laughs> yes. Yay. <laughs> That's perfect. See, I kind of like to see if I can make her go this way with my legs first. And test her, test her. Okay, there we go. Nice. That's something fun I've been practicing with her a lot. It's just trying to use my body weight and my legs to teach her. And I'll point for myself. Like, I'm trying to go this way. There we go. Nice. See if I can turn her this way. Without my reins. Nope, that's okay. You can use the reins if you need to. There we go. Nice. Good job, shortcake. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some trotting and okay. loping around and test go the saddle it. out. Definitely can hear that it's a new saddle and all the squeakiness. Okay, so let's use my body weight. Tell her to turn. There we go. Don't even have to touch my reins. That's what I like. Amy makes it look so natural, you guys. And this might not seem like, see, I want to go straight for this pole. Straight. Use my legs. Straight. And then turn. And now I want to go straight this way. Oh, look at her on the fence. Might need to use this to help. If you guys need a horse go. train, oh, check out CNA Horses in Flagstaff, Arizona. They also do training in Wickenburg, Arizona. There you go. So she does an amazing job. Nice. Her and Cisco and Gracie's coming along too. There we go. And then I'll see if I can turn her this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we'll see if she.
I'm going to let you guys experience the raw, so I won't be talking unless Amory asks me a question. Try to make her go straight this way with my body. Use my hands if I need to. There we go. Make her do a little random circle here. Nice. Good girl. Okay, I do feel a few things on this saddle. Okay. I which I wonder if it's just because it's so new. All right. But there we go. Good job. And then we'll practice ever so light. Good girl. Good job. Are the flies bothering you? I feel higher on her than I have felt on other shadows. But maybe too, it just has to kind of get all the squeaks out of it and sit down a little more. All right, but pros and cons. Mental note, yeah, and I don't even know if that's a pro or a con, <laughs> it's just a mental note. But yeah, maybe so Will you ever own one of these saddles? I, I think if for me to own a trail saddle, I would have to have some extras around just cause a lot of our saddles and the reason we ride a lot of rope saddles is because you can still run barrels in a rope saddle, but you can't rope in a barrel saddle kind of thing. So the reason might be no, just because we put our horse, put our saddles on so many different horses okay. and we might need to rope or do some ranch work or something like that. Right. But I could definitely see my mom owning one of these saddles. Speaking she doesn't ride mom. very much and she would love this. It's very comfy. Is she a horse person? My mom is not a horse person. She rides a couple times a year. So that's why she'd want a, a very nice, soft, good saddle to ride. It is very comfy on me. That's very good. comfy on me. Yes. I'm excited to, to get yeah. on. Not now, of course. Yeah. But in the future, a few more days. Yeah. yeah. And then the other thing I'd been... Oh, good job. You little overachiever. <laughs> I've been working on shortcake is getting her to bend and go in a circle while still moving those front feet and this might not seem like a big deal to a lot of people but it is because it's starting to work on that softness and once you start to add forward movement there we go you know they might want to get stiffer so we just work on keeping her soft while in the circle and this is the beginnings of a barrel horse too. <laughs> a lot of people just try to go around things, but they never actually get their horse to go around themselves. So see how maybe sometimes it can be harder for her to turn such a small circle. She wants to go a little wider. There we go. And then once she keeps that nose in there on her own and she's moving those front feet, I release and I'll let her walk out of it. All right, little training 101. Yeah, little training tip with shortcake that I've been working on. So that's that's the big thing. I love, there's horses going around in the background and stuff like that. And I like how she can just be with me when I'm, when I'm training. I think this will be a perfect thumbnail. Yay, <laughs> <laughs> thumbnail captured. <laughs> so do you often, or how comfortable are you to step out of your comfort zone? Ooh. I'm learning, I'm learning this because I, a lot of, le a lot of my own life lessons, I only know them because I know it's true in the horse world and horses are never going to grow if you let them sit in their pen and do nothing. Even Shortcake, Shortcake had to come out of her comfort zone for the summer and it was probably uncomfortable at first to be around so many new horses or commotion, but look how much she grew. So for me, I can see that firsthand in my horses. Look how much they grew. So I'm trying to tell myself to be more uncomfortable because I make my horses be uncomfortable every day. And how do you feel about a challenge? I love challenges. Okay, so I'm gonna yes. challenge you right now. Okay, okay. yes. Okay. Are you ready for yes, it? Yes, I'm ready for my challenge. Stepping out of your comfort zone, sing us something. Okay, <laughs> all right, this is a good test. Okay, what would be my favorite song? Okay. 
You know what I've been saying lately though? <laughs> this is a funny song. But I've been like, okay, this is, I'm getting nervous. No, thank I'm not you. Judge thank you. you. Too. Yes. I've been like, because I don't know why. I, I said before, I'm a sensitive person. So, like, I really take in words and stuff. So, lately, I've been like, I have to use, I'm going to use my mic. I'm going to get in my zone, pretend like you guys are here. Words can't hold me back. <laughs> I just like I'll do I'll be like trotting I'll be like words can't hold me back and there you have it yep. that's her audition tape for the voice hey Simon <laughs> you might want me <laughs> Simon's actually on American Idol but... oh okay. <laughs> that's okay you said you didn't watch a lot of tv so no. you understand yeah, yeah that that makes sense now I, I watch a lot of YouTube I grew up on YouTube <laughs> watching horse training videos favorite YouTuber right now Oh, my favorite YouTuber, my favorite, Mr. Beast, everyone says Mr. Beast, but I'm just like blown away at how far he goes and he's, he's 25. So he's a year older than me. And I just like to, I really like to look up to him because he doesn't let other people's opinions change what he wants to do. So he's a big one, but I also, I just always love the Farm Under 66 and Painted Desert. Yeah, Alan yeah. Palmer, giving yeah. him a shout out. Yeah, my my uncle Alan, he they always have great videos and they're always doing fun stuff on the farm. And then Danielle, you make some of the coolest gathering videos. She's got like drones and different angles, GoPros. She really shows you all the ins and outs of gathering horses. That's good. Yeah. I, uh, we'll get there one of these days. I learned... I, I will say I have a new favorite that's not in the norm for me, and I can't even remember her name, but my good friend showed me her channel, and she goes on backpacking adventures with her dog, and it's just like the most simple and pure videos. I like her. Did you get hooked on it? I got hooked. That's good. 100% hooked. It's, yeah. Everything is about it. It's like a lot of nature, Yes. and you just kind of feel like you're in the moment with yeah. her. Yeah, and I don't know why my new saying lately has been like, nature heals. Like, I just really think nature heals. Like, being out in nature, just, that's what we need. More I people. I think we need a nature walk together one of these days. Yes, yes I think do. so. That would okay. be very fun. Okay, I'm yeah. going to jot it down on my calendar. Yes, yeah. that would be fun. Yeah, so this is, oh, sure cake in her lazy not showed off a lot <laughs> but is there anything specific you'd like to see from shortcake i'm an open book okay you show me what she has okay show me what she got and okay I'm here for it well maybe also i would like i like to lope around a little bit okay I feel like she's starting to get her cute little nice smooth lope so i might wait cisco he's got crop he was riding outside i might let him get out of the way just so i don't run into him and then we'll, I'm going to lope shortcake around for All you. Right. I like about one of your videos, you were saying, I'm going to be a badass horse trainer one day. Yeah. And I feel like you already are. Oh, thank you. You're That's in very Cisco. kind. I mean, of course, we all have learning to do. We, we're still growing. But yeah. I, I guess like for me, there. I feel like um, I have so much to learn. But I guess that's a good thing to want to learn. But I do, I want to, um, I want to be able to have a name that people oh amory trained that horse it, it has to be a nice horse because amory trained it i want that kind of a reputation that's so, good someday shortcakes it's helping me get soon. there i know it's gonna happen soon thank you you're welcome yes okay perfect we will do some loping do you have a nickname for this beautiful arena because you have your office at oh the my goodness shed. we don't this arena does need a nickname Yes, it does. This is a lovely arena. For those who are watching, we need a nickname for Amy Palmer's amazing arena. We picked up the wrong lead, but that's okay. We're going to go around. See if she'll get the right lead next time. So leads are something I just... 
There we go. I don't make a big deal about it because she'll figure it out. And I like to, to lope on these trains. See if we can get her to go all the way over here. Ah, there we go. So right now, too, I'm using my legs to make her go over here. So I really like that. This is fun to me. This is a blast. I love this. We'll do one more lap. I can change directions. to resituate the hat and sunglasses so my hat won't fall off. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, I like to lope her around and it's fun for me, I guess, because maybe my viewers don't notice this stuff, but me going around without touching her reins and her listening to my legs, that's been something I've worked a long time to get a horse to do. So short takes, I'm like, she's still like, thank you for being so nice to me and letting me learn that on you. I have a lot of appreciation for short cake. I know you're going to miss her. So tell yes. us the big news today. What's going on? What's going to happen with Shortcake in the next few hours? Well, this is happy sad. Okay. Happy in that you have to get out of your comfort zone to grow. Sad in that I'm going to miss her. But Shortcake is going home. She's going back to her real home in less than a couple hours. And I will no longer be her trainer. So she'll be going back to live with her family and be with her owner and be ridden by her owner so so yeah. with shortcake how do you feel overall like if you were to scale her one through ten i i don't want to i don't want to say this and no one believes me because i'm being 100 percent honest she's the best colt i've ever trained <laughs> and i i can't take credit because she's just awesome but i feel like i did the best job on her that i've ever done so i i'm really excited about that there's just there's little things like how calm and gentle she is when you take her on. You can ride her alone on the trails. She doesn't nick her. She knows how to move her feet and stuff. And then just even right now, like a lot of people say their horse is broke, but I challenge them, give your horse that much rain and see what they do. Do they sit there and wait for you? Are they running off? Are they tripping over themselves? You know, shortcake. I've really been able to successfully teach her to be responsible for her own feet. And I, I like that. I like being able to lope her around. I want to go on the outside of the arena. I can use my weight to kind of encourage her over there. I'm not over up here pulling and doing things like that. So for me, that was a win. So how long did you have Shortcake in your training facility? I had Shortcake for three months. Um, well, her training was for three months, but we had a couple weeks here and there where our um, schedules got busy and Shortcake didn't get the attention that she was deserved or that was paid for. So we kept her longer. So I would say she's been here about f almost four months, but training wise, she's probably had three months. So. Okay. So what would you like to say to your future clients? My future clients, I would strongly recommend to shortcake. Also, the thing that was awesome about her when she came to me, it wasn't, she wasn't perfect, but someone had done something with her and you can tell. And that goes a long ways. So I believe Shortcake maybe had a month-ish of some prior training. And then just everyday handling from her owner, which made her gentle so that I didn't have to, if, you know, I didn't need to earn her trust. I just needed to earn her respect. 
and that really helps. And then the other big thing was how much time I had with shortcake. It really made a difference. Um, some a lot of people might want to send their horse to someone for a month, and that's great. But you know, just think about your own life. How much changes are going to happen in one month? A lot of us need 90 days. Your skin skin cells take 90 days to regenerate. So shortcake's just now getting new skin cells that have me in them, kind of thing. So. I think that 90 day cycle has something to it. Okay. And speaking yeah. of skin cells, how important is sunblock? Do you Ooh. use sunblock? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sunblock's a big deal for me. Um, you guys got to see me go through some facial changes. I had some things happen and it scarred my face. And I guess as a girl too, you just care about your face. Maybe everyone cares about their face, but people see it all the time. It just made me realize too. I got I got one face. I got one set of skin. Like I gotta take care of it. So sunscreen is very important to me. But I learned that it's the sunscreen with the zinc in it. Got to find the sunscreen with the zinc. Okay. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I guess. Do you wear a lot of sunscreen? I do. Okay. That's why my face is shining right now. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> it's the sweat so combined with big... the sunscreen. So I'm shining here. I look like a crystal ball walking around. I love it though. Okay. I love sunscreen. All right. Awesome. What's your favorite brand of sunscreen? That's a good question. I do like Banana Boat. Okay. And I do like the Hawaiian sunscreen. It's something to do with Hawaii. It has like a blue bottle. I know. I know which one. Yeah. yeah. You have the leaf on their yeah. design. That's yeah. one of my favorites mm -hmm. too. One of my go-to. Awesome. But I'm getting my vitamin D today. Check it out vitamin D. So that is one are. thing about being out here. I say nature heals, but I really think it's like we get a whole lot of vitamin D. We get a whole lot of fresh air and, you know, we're kind of outside of the town limit. So we don't have a lot of pollution or things like that. So I'm always happier when I'm on a horse outside. Awesome. So I'm going to close this out. Yes. And I have one question to close this out. Okay. What made you want to start your own YouTube channel? Ah, good question. Well, I guess a lot of it ties back to my love for horses. When I was in middle school, that's when I really got into selling horses. And I had a teacher, Mr. Shaddy. He had lots of films, lots of cameras, and he was encouraging us to make videos. So I started making sale videos of my horses and he would help me post those onto YouTube so that people could see my horses that were for sale. And I, that's all it was, was just, I wanted to upload sale videos. And then my uncle Alan started noticing that I'd post more and more sale videos. And he encouraged me to make a channel about it, which that, that part was hard. That was really out of my comfort zone, but I'm so glad I did it because I've met so many awesome people. I wouldn't have shortcake without of YouTube. I wouldn't have met so many other people without YouTube. So my uncle Alan, the farm on Route 66, he's the one that really pushed me. He would call me every two days to make sure I was uploading videos. And I remember being like, Alan, you gotta leave me alone, dude. But I, thank you, Alan. I appreciate it now. <laughs> thank you for awesome. making me stick with it because it's really grown and we got to meet a lot of people. Okay, well. Yeah. Well, Send thank us off you with so a good much. wave. Yes. And do I want to take another. I'm going to take a lap around. And if, if you guys are going to miss me while I'm gone, you don't have to because you can like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and be happy. Okay. Bye. There you go. Her victory lap. <laughs> this is her victory lap. She's beauty and she's grace and she's Miss United States. Right there. And I was referencing a movie from Miss Congeniality.